My name is Troy Nelson, and this Saturday in particular is very, very special because I am joined here today in the KEXP live room with the wonderful singer-songwriter Joe Henry. So, Joe, if you are ready, take her away. Sure. Stretched across my brow, a divided country then and now, and you the border guard. A caravan waved off the tracks, the dusty miners hidden back, their faces glowing hard. And hunker down And sparking fuses Underground Digging their way through To surface on Some other side With time to kill And a past to hide And one eye Between the truth and what I need Lift the face of someone strong Mask the shadows growing long And blur what they can see Found myself out on a range Found a mirror staring strange what I knew of telltale stripes across my back of eyes I keep each blue and black and both of them out for you out for you From all blame so Scrawl out pages Watch them burn The jumpy horses All not in turn The way I need them to Before I run them To the fields As buildings blaze And dot the hills Like all I That was called uh, Eyes Out For You, and uh, this is called After The War. Uh. 
A dogged mind sniffed my heart Like a pocket full of German marks Long after the war was through Stood me on the rusted rail Turned my face and kicked my tail up towards the yonder blue Threw a fish up on the bank I watched him dance from the air he drank And then my hunger knew That sparks will fly around my head When I stir coals down in my bed Like I was walking back to you Well, time slips out the leaning fence That lost the border ever since Our beloved war took to the road With caravans and mocking birds and painted curls with twisted words whose knees and ankles showed now I sit and watch the failing moon the shadow stars and coming soon the whole thing will look new When blessedly I will forget The ways of God and all regret Like I was walking back Like I was walking back to you Beautiful. You are listening to Joe Henry live here on 90.3 KEXP. Thank you so much, Joe, for stopping by the station here and playing some songs for everybody. Oh, thank you for having me. It's my pleasure. Absolutely. Now, you have been doing this a little while. Doing what? Music. The music thing. Oh, music. Yes. Uh, yes. Um, well, I never quit anything to do it. You right. Know? I never. <laughs> uh, I didn't quit a job to do it. I've just uh, uh, always uh, done this since I was sort of, uh, you know, beyond school and right. beyond tether. Right, just kind of writing songs or lyrics, writing things down. Sure. And uh, these are beautiful songs. Were those two right there are on the album Reverie? Is that correct? That is correct. On, on the Thanks for noticing. Record, yes. Uh, so I had a uh, quick question about. You've been with a bunch of different uh, different record labels in the past, and you've had some different. You've genre jump, jumped a little bit in your in in your music, and you've made some pretty uh, acoustic, uh, country tinged albums. You've made some rock albums. You even made a record that involved uh, drum loop. And, and stuff like that and I was looking at sort of the history of your music and I was trying to figure out where Paige Hamilton from the band Helmet comes into the into the mix uh, he was my good pal and he was the guitarist on my record trampoline and uh, I guess the short version of the story is that I had sort of creatively uh, felt a little trapped by the vocabulary that um, I had been using and had sort of decided that if I didn't find a new way to work I wasn't going to keep working right uh, the idea of just going into a studio uh, with people in a, in a in one room and and hoping to get great live takes, um, that was a bit like live theater, and I wanted to be a filmmaker. Right. You know, I'd rather be Orson Welles than uh, you know Tom Petty any right. day. Um, I don't know why I picked Tom Petty. <laughs> uh, no offense to him at all. Right. Um, but uh, I was really looking for a new way to work, so I started asking myself, well, you know, how does Dr. Dre work? Because I liked his records a lot, mm -hmm. and uh, of course I didn't know have any idea how he worked. Mm -hmm. But you know, you do a lot of things. Uh, you come up with a lot of personal innovation if you if you think you're imitating something and you're completely wrong. Right. So I just sort of imagined how I um, believed he was constructing things, and I started working that way. I, you know, somebody loaned me a drum machine, and I, 
you know, just made loops and recorded them for six minutes and started writing to them. And I'm very uh, lyric driven as a rule, very lyric centric. But yes. I was at that point writing songs where the lyric was the last thing I considered. I'd made very ornate uh, tracks with samples and replace things with live musicians page being one of them and then i would uh drive around in the car singing to them until something happened yeah i've done I've, I've totally done that i've dabbled in the uh in the songwriting uh, realm myself and lyrics seem to can sometimes take longer than actual writing of the song you'll put kind of do you do or you'll have the music and you'll put placement lyrics in just for or just mm -hmm. kind of sing over it or do you uh do you have to get it right there and then like that first line has to be you know, oh, what? it doesn't have to be uh, right the first time, but I'm always giving it the old college try. You know, I don't ever, you know, I've never written scrambled eggs into a song when I didn't mean, sc mean scrambled eggs, if you know what I mean. Right. Um, but, you know, it happens every which way. And I, the, the longer I'm doing it, the, the, the more mysterious the whole process is to me. I see a lot less distinction. You know, I make a lot of my living as a record producer. And I, when I first began doing that for other people, I saw that as a very different occupation than what I do for myself as an artist. Right. But the more I work, I see uh, very little distinction in any of it. You know, my mm -hmm. job is to make something really meaningful come out of a pair of speakers. And however that happens uh, is, 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 is what I'm invested in. Right, right. Are you based in, are you still living in Los Angeles? Yeah, I've been there for all, uh, 20, uh, almost 24 years. Wow. Longer than I've lived anywhere in my whole life. I moved a lot when I was young. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I moved to L.A. like a lot of people. My wife and I moved from New York. And I thought, you know, just for the moment, you know, we'll never be here long enough to have to worry about, you know, public schools or anything. Of course. And, you know, 23 years later, there you are. <laughs> well, uh, so in your touring, uh, where do you go next after this? Tonight, by the way, Joe is going to be at the uh, Triple Door, which have you played there before? I have, but it's been about five years, okay. I think. Wonderful venue. The sound in there is absolutely incredible. That's good it's going to be the perfect place to to see you. So I'm happy I, to hear that. I go I, home tomorrow actually. This is the oh, last nice. of a very a very brief run, you know. I'm okay. I'm not out on the campaign trail. I don't have a new record that I'm trying to sell. I'm uh -huh. just um, I just sort of felt compelled to play mm -hmm. and I just asked people in my camp, you know, find me a handful of shows and, you know, somewhere friendly. Right. Because so. playing unfriendly places, you're, you're done with. Oh, I'd rather stay home uh, than do that, <laughs> frankly. But, you know, that was always my attitude. Well, we are very lucky to have you here at KEXP. And, Joe, Thank if you. you would uh, please our listeners with a couple more songs, that would be great. I will. I'm going to have to change my tuning a little. Yes. Oh, I love this open tuning you have going, too. I was going to ask you about that. I, I don't play in standard anymore, really. Mm -hmm. This is a open G, okay. but I'm tuning this down to a C, and then I play in C. Oh, wow. This is, this is a new song. I've made a new record. It's not out, but I've made one. Do you know the name of the record it's yet? It's called Invisible Hour. Great. At this moment, anyway. This song is called Swayed. S-W-A-Y-E-D, as in to be seduced. Nice. Well, we are going to be seduced again right now by Joe Henry here on KEXP. Yeah, you know, people really meaning to seduce anybody. You don't announce your intention of doing so. But <laughs> takes, it takes away I from it. I just ruined it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> times your traitor hangs up right there next to mine the afternoon shakes down the trees like they owed it money hey buddy please get in line the promise of green fruit is gone it's bruised out there on the lawn he cannot be seduced, cannot be saved And I hang ready to be swayed Our hunger to be new begins But it slips the yoke like it was our second Walking back the shadow moon as it on a string of sinking black balloon. It turns its face and mounts the wall, 
Sure, slower, way to follow you Hold me by a thread and fall away And I stand hungry to be swayed storm will rise already it's tattered my sail and thin disguise I bit my song like broken words could call to me a whirling whirling skittish birds skittish birds right to a stranger mind, but stranger still, the hand of time has laid its ragged coat across our way, and I lie ready to be swayed, I lie ready to be swayed, I lie ready Listening to Joe Henry live here on 90.3 KEXP. I'll play you one more new one. Great. It's called uh, Play and Speak. of your side Taste the laugh upon your thigh then roar But let this be clear My sighing ballad dear I won't than for you to see me now There's red iron in the sliding clay It stains our knees and it points the way For bloodlusty angels Looking to rumble in town But let this be clear My sliding bombardier I want nothing more Than for you to find me now Here's how I'm leaning word for word And no matter what you think you heard When I say bird, I mean a bird No less and not more Than for you to 
raise me now I'm thirsting after righteous gloom With daylight streaming in this room And the loss of love One day soon may bear me out And away Volunteer, I want nothing more than for you to hear me now. I want nothing more than for you to hear me now. Beautiful songs. Thank you so much, Joe. It's Joe Henry live here on KEXP. That song is called Plain Speak and the one before it called Suede.